Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today, the 2nd of April 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So, looking across the news, of course, we saw US markets open after the long weekend. First time they traded since that PCE number came out on Friday, which was a little disappointing. We did see a rise in bond yields as well, which didn't help as the USD gained strength. So only the NASDAQ closed in positive territory with advances versus decliners around about 30 to 70 percent. So not a very positive day. Big tech helped with Google outperforming. Big data due this week, of course. It is the first week of the month, which means we get US jobs data. And of course, the non-farm payrolls at the end of the week is the major highlight. In terms of today's action, US futures are slightly weaker in early Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed, but erring on the positive side. We've seen the Hang Seng fly in excess of 2.5%, but it was closed yesterday, so it is playing a little bit of catch-up. ASX is trading just above neutral with materials performing as a sector in excess of 1%, so materials and energy leading the way. Outside of that, most sectors are to the downside. And European equity futures are pointing to a mildly positive open. The US dollar index traded to the upside again, has been on a bit of a move higher over the last couple of weeks and now is testing mid-February highs. As a result of that, you would expect commodities to be weaker, but in fact, the opposite was the case. So quite unusual to see commodities doing okay. We saw gold surging to 22.50 and a new record high close, although there was a little selling in the US session just to bring it back down a little, trading around 22.48 in Asia today. Copper is holding over $4 and testing short-term resistance at 406 May take the LME opening this afternoon to see the move above that. An oil confirmed push the resistance level and close the October levels. All in all, a good day for commodities despite that USD strength. Bitcoin, however, is paused just below 71000 which it has been for the last week, really. And on top of that, US jobs data, which is the highlight for the week, we've got PMI data due out of the UK today along with Germany and the Eurozone. We've also got German inflation numbers out later. In the US, Fed speeches are going to dominate sentiment, perhaps with four Fed members speaking tonight at various points during the US session. We've also got US factorers, which will be noteworthy. A couple of charts of core RI today. We're liking the look of Treasury Wine Estates Limited, which is tackling this 1265 level. Uh, you can see there, we did actually move to the upside initially during the course of the session before coming back down again. In terms of where this sits technically, you can see the importance of this level and a potential move up maybe as high as $14 in the medium term. Looks as though it could be on the cards. Uh, that would be a substantial gain of around about 9.2% from that level at around about 12.65. So one certainly worth not only keeping an eye on, but also being patient with to make sure that it breaches this 1264 level, perhaps a move up to around about 1275, maybe a significant enough space between this resistance level and price to merit consideration for entry. Uh, on the FX front, because of that US dollar strength, we're obviously seeing weakness in the euro. And you can see there that significant drop during the US session last night. We seem to have found a short term range here which offers an opportunity either way, to be honest. Uh, if we move down, then 107.30, one could be a 20 pip move, even a 30 pip move to the downside. If we move above 107.44, we could see it recover up to potentially uh, around about this 107.70 level. So perhaps a 25 pip move to the upside. So almost a bracket trade potential here with the potential for a 30 pip move either way. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.